Ryan back here with another YouTube video and today we'll be going over some really exciting content that we got in Madden a few days ago. Sorry I wasn't able to upload um, but before we get into this video I'm going to go ahead and uh, kind of go over my scheduling. So yesterday I had some things come up I wasn't able to upload. I think I'm going to change my schedule to kind of do it around whatever I need to get done That because right now it's kind of hard to upload a video a day. That's not really easy but I'll try to do one every other day and that's my goal and if we get more then we get more um, I think that's what we're gonna do for now as far as the scheduling goes and I think that's what we're gonna roll with because that's what's best for me and if you guys are okay with that um, just leave a like on the video and comment if you uh, have any other suggestions to make about this but for as of now I think I'm going to roll with the uh, every other day um, try to uh, just just kind of help out my scheduling because um, I'm trying to not get some different things as you saw my YouTube logo has now been changed um, yeah I think it looks a lot better and so has my banner been changed a little bit so I have a Instagram so if you guys want to go ahead and follow that I'll be posting uh, Madden things everything Madden pretty much um, video updates uh, anything like that but um, go ahead and follow that and I will be making a Twitter page soon so look for that in the upcoming videos and I'll leave a link to the Instagram down below so go ahead and check that out uh, but um, I'm gonna roll with the schedule of trying to do every other day and uh, just kind of whenever in the day I'm able to do it um, this video will probably come out a little bit later today uh, on Sunday but let's go ahead and get into it so on Friday they announced uh, ultimate team um, they announced that on the Twitter page they announced that we are getting to um, ultimate legends so as you can see that Steve Largent right there is an ultimate is the LTD for this week and that Michael Vick and there is another one uh, Simeon I think he's a right end um, let's go ahead and check it these out in the auction house though um, I don't think they're very good ULs though I think they're kind of garbage to be honest with you Michael Vick's okay um, but he's not going to be a quarterback that you're going to want to sit with the rest of the year because he's not going to really be an elite quarterback like right now I have Randall Cunningham and you can see these prices are going <laughs> it's insane they're, how fast they're going down um, EA uh, the winner of the Madden Bowl uh, was announced yesterday as a joke beat uh, D Clef I think it is but um, they're giving out 98s and 99s for the uh, if you tuned in for an hour on Twitch and I actually got mine I got Chase Young which I really didn't need because I already had him so I just quit him for training so free 32,000 training uh, which wasn't bad at all I'll take that any day of the week but I hope you guys went ahead and did that because I did talk about that in one of my previous videos that you guys should go ahead and do that because it's basically a free player um, and you had the chance to get the Burrow as well um, the 99 Burrow but uh, yeah, so it just made everybody, everybody else in the marketplace go down. As you can see, these uh, 98s and stuff for these draft players are probably so low right now. And it's causing a huge market crash, even more so than when the golden tickets came out. So let's go ahead and check out these ULs. But the market crash is crazy right now. It's unbelievable. If you guys need to upgrade your team, go ahead and do it. Look at that. Joey Porter going for 123. That's insane. Randall is going for 148. Pretty crazy stuff. Uh, but let's go ahead and check out these ULs. So for the first one, let's go ahead and Simeon Rice. That's a um, right end. I don't think he's that good. And these are some, some pretty garbage ULs, to be honest with you. Uh, 85 speed, which mine has a um, has brawler on him, so he get plus one speed. So Aaron Donald's got like 86 speed uh, compared to Simeon. Um, look at the strength though, and look at the. Uh, power move and the finesse move is not that far off from his so I think it for being and he will get 99 finesse move 90 power move but I just in the block shedding and the um, play record I don't know man I think that that Aaron Donald is gonna is honestly better and I don't know I guess they're kind of comparable but I just don't think it's worth it to um, buy all the Simeon Rice stuff to upgrade him when he's not even uh, that that much better uh, than the um, Simeon Rice so next player we're gonna go over is the Steve Largent and Steve um, is the LTD this week but as you can see it doesn't really matter because he's kinda low he's not very fast at all um, let's compare him to my Randy Moss 
So yeah, as you can see, Randy kind of blows him out the water, um, minus the short round and mid route run. But um, if you do have John Madden, he can get uh, high to like a 98 speed or whatever, 99 speed, which is going to be really good because it'll be really good then. But if you don't have that, I don't think he's that great. Um, his speed is what really kills him for me. Um, even though his catching and his catching in traffic is high and his uh, route running. But um, I just think that they, EA could have done a better job with um, kind of bumping these up a little bit, making them, these cards a little bit better. Uh, and we're still waiting on that Sean Taylor uh, to come into the game. That'll be probably the best free safety in the entire game. And I'm expecting and I hope that we get some more. I mean, I'm sure we will. Uh, these 99s, we need some um, right guards, right tackles in the game because... I don't even think we have any 99 right guards and right tackles, so we need some of those in the game. And hopefully, position heroes come out next week. Um, they added the draft packs into the game, as I said. Um, those free agency packs went away, and now they added those draft packs, which is kind of weird because we were thinking, you know, we probably get another um, promo then, but apparently we didn't. They just kind of putting things in place and um, just trying to keep us occupied for the time. Which isn't good because people are getting upset. I'm a little upset with them because they could have done a better job. And everybody's going to blame it on the virus or whatever. But they're able to make new ULs. So you think if they're able to make new ULs, then they're able to give us a promo. So um, I don't understand it really, what's going on there. But um, oh, here's the Michael Vick. Let's go ahead and compare this Michael Vick. So he's got 95 speed. He'll get 90. He'll be 96 and then probably 97 if you put like Sprinter or Shaker on him. Sprinter, he'll be like, what, 98 speed, so pretty good. He'll get human joystick. His throw power is okay. It's really not that good. His, his car is really not that great, to be honest with you. Um, the throw power is the only thing, and the speed. Uh, I, <laughs> th these cars aren't that good. They really aren't. Like, they could have done a lot better with them. I, I just would not take this Michael Vick on my team because I'm getting Lamar and if you guys are doing the um, golden ticket challenges which you should be doing because it's a free golden ticket each week you guys need to be going ahead and get the knocking out those 50 stars for this week so you can get ready for the next one not have to do all of them at the same time um, but that's going to cause another huge market crash and it's probably going to be even lower than this just because of all the different golden tickets that are into the game and they're not going to be as um, as as a special as much of a specialty because everybody's gonna have pretty much have one but um yeah that's pretty much it for these ultimate legends i think they're kind of garbage this week walter payton I'll, i'm gonna get him on my team i actually stole barry sanders because um i want to get walter and barry is not as good as walter i don't think and walter's just he's a monster he's just a um he's like barry and eric mixed and he's he's amazing but um yeah i'm gonna get him soon make those upgrades i want walter payton and champ bailey champ bailey's current, currently going for pretty low um just got tony gonzalez but um yeah if you want guys want to go ahead and make some changes to your team i would highly advise you do that and as you can see my coin stack right now at 390 um the only reason that is because i did all the uh, fan appreciation packs but you can see all the training i got from that and i can convert that into coins if i wanted to i think i probably have like 900,000 coins if i did that so i didn't lose any coins but I'm just kind of keeping it for right now because I'm doing some different things with YouTube and different uh, things. I don't really have time to mess with that right now. But make sure you guys, uh, again, play your weekend league. And if you need to, play your solo battles. I haven't been playing them lately. But And then do your fan appreciation. Uh, but I want to go ahead and address another thing, too, uh, as far as coin making methods and go. And Mark kind of pointed this out in the comment section on one of my other videos. Um, these get a player packs. I'm sorry for saying they weren't profitable, but they are profitable. And I actually pulled, I think, I think I pulled 50k, so 100 of them last night. <clears throat> I haven't put them in the sets yet, but they are profitable. And last night they were selling really fast, like I mean, like right out the binder, real fast for like 2.1k. So that's really good. And that's what really makes these things profitable is if these gold harvests are profitable because. I like putting them in there. I don't like really putting them in the Mutt Superstar sets or anything like that. Um, but these, yeah, see, look at that. Mm. That's that's a lot. And the reason being is because of the speculation of this Michael Irvin um, getting a new card. So let's go ahead and check him out.
spelled Michael wrong. Good night. Okay, so uh, as you can see, Michael Irvin's going up in price, and that is due to him getting another card. So um, I would just th that's a big reason that these get a player packs are so profitable is because of these this Michael Irvin going up and. I definitely do recommend trying to do these get a players right now because again they're fun to pull but look at the get a player or look at these harvest players they're going up in price you can sell them easy at two at 2200 now too so 2.2k and you're gonna make a ton of profit doing this if you just keep going and rolling and doing this so I'd recommend pulling about um, 50 to 100k at a time if you want to do more do more um, but yeah these these packs are actually really profitable right now so i would recommend doing that and then i will be going over some sets tomorrow probably um that you can do during this time to help uh, get some coins back but um that's pretty much it for the video and all you're gonna do just uh right now during this time uh the alternate playbook method still good um get a player is good and uh, the sets that I've shown you guys and I'll show you some tomorrow and in the future um, sets are always really fun for me to do because I know that I'm going to make profit off of them just based of, off of what I pay for the cards and it's not really a risk reward because um, you know what you're getting whenever you put the coins into the set and there's math there and there's no real um, chance of you not getting it because you know for a fact you're getting the card from the set that you exchange it for so um that's gonna be at the end of the video uh check for new videos tomorrow at just whatever time um just be make sure you turn on post notice that way you know when I, my videos come out to be able to uh be able to click on my videos and watch them whenever they come out right away and you guys can join uh, the notice squad thanks for watching